Hey guys, Adam here. And I just want to give you all a quick update on the status of the Pole Position Clone Project. Now you've been anxiously waiting for an update, and I had some success this week in taking care of some of the road issues that you saw in John's uh, video. And so, yeah, without further ado, I got the board running over here, so let's go take a peek and we'll see where we're at. Alrighty, so let's take this guy out of reset here, and you can see it boot up. And there we go. And I had some issues before <clears throat> with the uh, road and the cars, actually. And actually, they were due to just errors in the schematic. Looking through the schematics, um, you know, of course, the, my initial pass-through was to just match the schematics one for one. But if the schematics aren't right, then then we don't get uh, good results. So I had to kind of go through with a fine-tooth comb and find some problems there remedy them and uh, yeah so it looks like we're in business here there's actually a couple of extra bonus things that I added to the design um, like being able to freeze the uh, the design like that and then um, the way this works is there's actually multiple layers of video going on here there's the road that's in the background the car is kind of painted on top if you want to think of it that way and then on top of that you've got the characters and stuff on top and so as I was debugging if I wanted to hone in on a certain uh, layer um, I actually added logic to the design to kind of peel back the onion, so to speak. And so if I can kind of demonstrate here, uh, there I can get rid of the text. Or well, actually, that's the car. And then likewise, if I want to, I can get rid of the text like that. And then just bring it back. And so, yeah, so it allowed me to kind of tackle it, um, piecemeal it. I originally had some little bit of issues with the characters, took care of that, and then focused on the cars, and then finally took care of the road. And so let me take this guy out of uh, freeze here so you can see it play. There we go. And so my plan is to, um, well, my original plan was just get the video working for, for a given game. You know, it could be pole position one or two. I chose pole position one. It's a little bit easier. And so now that I have that going, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll tackle pole position two, which should be pretty much plug and play. The, the only exception is there is a security chip in there. Um, but uh, I think I have a handle on that. I should be able to crack that uh, without too much uh, trouble. So my plan now will be to go ahead and load up pole position two and, and synthesize that and make sure that all works good. And then I can work on uh, kind of the dual game uh, approach or the multi-game approach, being able to tackle both of those. And then while I'm doing that, I can um, kick it, kick the sprites and all that kind of stuff over to, to John uh, Black Dog 7 on the forums. And he'll be working on uh, the interface, kind of brainstorming the layout and coming up with some cool graphical uh, designs there. And then between the two of us, we'll figure out how to, to make it all work and, and hardware and everything. So, so anyway, uh, long story short, I think we're very close. Um, very close meaning, you know, tackling the hardware aspect. You know, once... Once all that stuff is figured out, we still gotta, or I still have to put together a PCB and and go through a whole that whole rigmarole. But uh, we're definitely making some headway. I mean, this is very gratifying to finally see something running after so many years. And so I appreciate your patience, guys, and kind of sticking with this. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited. You know, it looks like we're really starting to make some headway, tackle some problems here, and hopefully it'll just be smooth sailing from here on out. I have not attempted to hook up the sound yet. Uh, but I've been hearing from my buddy Wolfgang, uh, who actually uh, reverse engineered the Namco uh, sound ICs, that he's had some great success there. And so, yeah, so kudos to, to Wolfgang and, and Mike J over on FPGA Arcade. Uh, those guys have been giving me some of their uh, Namco customs, and I in turn have been sharing, you know, my, uh, my the customs that I've reverse engineered on this project and tossed them over to those guys. Uh, so thanks, yeah, for all your help, guys, and. Um, and yeah, I think we're close. We're there. So, uh, so yeah, if you want to subscribe, and um, I'll keep you guys posted as I make updates, and uh, I'll keep everybody in the loop, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing some multi-game pole positions soon. Alrighty, guys. Thanks a lot, and we'll catch you later. Hey, guys. <laughs> All right. And just don't press the zoom. Ready? Hold on. I gotta think about what I want to say. It's okay. I can trim it all out. Hey guys, Adam here, and I just wanted to give you all. I'm laughing because you're laughing. Okay, hold on.